What's going on guys? Welcome back to Trafish Aquatics. Today we're going to be talking about is overcleaning your aquarium a bad thing? And the short answer to that is sometimes. And that's why I want to talk about it because a lot of new people get into the hobby and they need to understand that cleaning your aquarium is good, but overcleaning your aquarium can be bad depending how you do it. So I'm going to break it down a little bit. We're going to talk about some other small topics and then we'll lead back into the larger portion. So when I talk about cleaning your aquarium, there's a couple different things that get cleaned, right? You got the substrate that gets cleaned, you got the water that gets cleaned or changed, and then you have your filter that gets cleaned or changed. And I'm a big proponent with the filter is that you don't necessarily want to change your filter. You want to be able to clean it. So if you have a hang on back and you use the cartridge system, uh, I'm going to leave a link to this video right here, is how to upgrade your hang on back filters using sponge. I highly recommend that you do that. I do that with all of my hang on backs. That way the maintenance on it is way more simple and it's also able to hold your biological filtration a lot longer um, as opposed to taking cartridges and throwing them away and putting a new one in. Way better. So. The other part would be doing water changes. So when you do water changes or clean your water, um, you're removing old water and putting fresh water back in. Now, in a cycled aquarium, the water does not hold any bacteria. The bacteria is on the surfaces in your aquarium. And not just the filter, not just the substrate, it's on the glass, the plants, the rocks, the driftwood, your fake decorations, it's all over it, right? Now, what happens when you do a water change is you're exposing all of those surfaces to oxygen. Now, if those surfaces were to dry out, any bacteria that's on there dies. So a lot of people don't understand that, and that can cause uh, bacterial blooms and stuff like that simply by just doing a water change, um, depending on how much you do and how long it actually takes to do it. Um, I know if I do a big water change on my 125 gallon goldfish tank, that tank takes quite a while to drain out and fill back up because I usually do large water changes and I do get a small bloom after doing it just because I did the water change. The other thing would be your substrate and one of the biggest things I see with new hobbyists is they set their tank up, their water gets cloudy, they take it all down, they pull the substrate out and they wash it in a colander with soap and water because they think there's something wrong with the substrate and that kills any bacteria that has started to colonize on that and it's just wiped it out. And that's not a good thing. If you get cloudy water, the best thing you can do is test your water to make sure you're not getting spikes and wait. Patience is a virtue in this hobby and it's one of the key things that makes you successful is patience. Is Nothing is going to happen overnight and nothing should happen instantly. Patience is a virtue. So that being said, we've talked about the filter, the water, and the substrate. So how can overcleaning these things be bad? I talked about each one a little bit, and we're going to put them all together now. A lot of new hobbyists, when they get their first aquarium, they set it up. If you follow the nitrogen cycle and you cycle your aquarium properly, most people don't talk about maintaining the nitrogen cycle. They only talk about how to complete it. Um, and I see a lot of new hobbyists, they get their cycle complete, they get their fish, uh, their fish are in there for a while, the tank gets a little dirty, and they go, okay, I have to clean it now, and then they do all those things, all at the same time. So they clean their gravel, they do a big water change, and they change their filter. Now, what you've essentially done is removed your nitrogen cycle. You know, it's all gone. There's a minute amount of bacteria probably left in the substrate and on some surfaces in your aquarium, but most of the stuff that's in the filter is gone, most of the stuff that was in the aquarium is gone, and it now all has to recolonize, so now you basically have to have a mini cycle and recycle your aquarium again. Um, the biggest thing that I see with more experienced hobbyists is if they go on vacation, they want to make sure that tank is nice and clean before we go, and I'm guilty, I've done it, and it wasn't even on purpose, complete accident. Um, I did a big water change, and in a hang on back, I have two sponges in each one. Um, I cleaned one out really good, left the other one, and when I came back I had a small algae, or not algae bloom, but a bacterial bloom um, because I did a little bit too much. So you have to be careful how much you do. So if you're going to do maintenance on your aquarium, my suggestion is never 
do filter maintenance and water changes on the same day, right? Or filter maintenance and gravel vac. Do not do them on the same day. If you're gonna do a water change on a Sunday and you need to do filter maintenance, wait until Wednesday or Thursday to do your filter maintenance. You don't wanna do everything the same day. You don't wanna risk losing too much of the bacteria colonies that make your aquarium healthy. If you remove too much, you have to start over. And that's one thing that a lot of people miss when it comes down to maintaining a healthy aquarium is making sure that your aquarium is clean and appealing for us to look at, but don't over clean it to the point of the aquarium can no longer maintain itself through the nitrogen cycle. And I think that's one of the most important things that's overlooked when it comes to the aquarium hobby for new hobbyists, not so much the advanced hobbyist because this at the advanced stage is just a common understanding. So thank you guys for watching Trafish Aquatics. I hope this video is helpful to those of you who are looking for this information. Can you overclean your aquarium? Absolutely. You can absolutely overclean your aquarium. So thank you for watching Trafish Aquatics. As always, links in the description down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.